vampires not like all the foes. Attack not just their swords and strike you down. They can change a man. Good evening and welcome to Audio Dungeon. I'm your host, Tony Hansen, joined by the rest of the Audio Dungeon crew. And today's episode is Season 2, Episode 11, In or Out. Guys, last week, the group here rushed into the Sunken Kingdom with knights, with many knights. And now, there are 50 knights left holding a perimeter around the front door, which is great. If you, need to, if you get to the gates, you can get out. They're not going to be blocked. But they're by the tavern, formerly known as Smithies in the real world. They're in the tavern known as the Winchester, boarded up. Zombies are outside, and they're gathering. All of you in the main party is together. And as I mentioned, other people who have taken refuge are also inside as well. But at least you're getting a breather, and you're trying to just keep it calm. That is where we begin today. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I do not know what we are going to do. We gotta get out of here. Leave the city entirely, you're saying? Yes. How many, just how many regular folk are in here, roughly? Probably about almost 50. How many knights were with us in here? Zero. Zero. Just uh, the king. King Argon is there, and he's hurt. He lost half his hit points, um, like, fighting everybody. And while he was doing that, everyone else is, like, boarding up everything. So he's been just fighting everybody out he, he could and keeping them all at bay. And then at the very end, you guys board up the door, and he, like, just rests on the floor. We still have 50 knights by the entrance. Correct. There. That's all you have. Health in, is unknown. In total. Yeah, you have no at idea. At this point, yes. Yeah. Um, just do a roll call here. So we have both Caddox, Arky Fint. We have Hutch. We have Cole. We have William. And we have Thalen. King Argon. Unconscious Sparky. Unconscious Sparky. And the NPCs uh, that took refuge. Who did I miss? Yo Yo? Oh, of course, so, uh, Craston. Of course, Craston. Yeah, Yo-Yo's with the team at the gate, yes. right? Uh, Yo-Yo's by the gate. And he's in his mech. His mech is still intact, right. so he's right. using it. He's the only mech left out of everybody. Right. So that's good. So you guys are just kind of talking quietly to each other. You're hearing the sounds of the zombies right outside. It's obviously not, not a great thing to hear. And while you're sitting there, you hear someone come down the steps Arky Fent. I should have known. In our last moments, we would be together. Fratella walks down the stairs. <laughs> oh, man. And she walks up to you. I'm so mad at you. Fratella. But I can't help not loving you. <laughs> and she grabs you. Goes, I'm scared. She's so cool. That's very understanding of you. Um, <laughs> don't worry, we're gonna get out of this. <laughs> Why we have with us the great paladin, Arky. You know what you did. Yes. You yes. know how terrible it was, not just to me but my family. I do. I will be the first to admit it. So I'm going to ask you something very important now. Yes. You owe me. You I, killed me. I will do everything I possibly can to make, will make you? that up to you. You promise. You. Do I have your word? Yes. Yes, of course you have my word. Arky. Save my family. They're going to die up there on top of the vault. <laughs> Fear not, Fratella. We are working on a plan right now. So you'll save them? Indeed. The entire sunken city 
I have to say, I, I talked to a lot of people here, and they actually knew who you were. I didn't know when we when we went on our date. I didn't know who you were. But everyone says that you're a big hero, and I'm like, you know, at least maybe. And all this is silver lining is that you can, you can save my uncles, my grand, my grandpa. I yes, it's all true. What they've said that cape, I didn't just buy it in a store. Where did you get it? Well, I, I mean, I did buy it in a store, <laughs> but it's oh. representative of, you know, what, what? I stand for. Well, what do you stand for? Heroism. Tell, tell everyone they should know he's a hero. He, yeah, he killed me, and he killed okay. my my uncle. But he's a, he was he's also saved the it world. A, it was a terrible accident in Rhaegar that day. A lot of lives were lost. Well, uh, Mine own as well. Well, well, yes. Accident. I understand because I talked to a lot of people about you, and a lot of people said the ones who knew about you said that you had something that you had the the madness. And the man has affected a lot of people. And I think that's, we would be the perfect couple if it wasn't for that. And now that all oh, that's behind us, the man, this is God. Look at you. You're, you're perfect. You're, you're, you're in your right mind. And you love me again. Right. Um, so we can now be together. There's no time here. No time. Forever. Forever. Well, we are actually going off on a big quest, but yes, certainly. I'm alongside you for the, to the end of the days. All right. Well, just wait here until we get back. No. I'm going to come with you. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, well, I'll let you know when we're heading out. Okay. We're going to save my family, right? Hmm. We... You're doing that thing again. <laughs> we're gonna, we're, we're going to, we're, we're going to see. They're very far away. Uh, There's a lot of zombies in between. Uh, I, ma 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 your Highness, I don't know if you have. Uh, I should, I should have been queen, but I'm not. Well, you are at least a, a lady here of of a royal lineage, uh, as I understand. Yeah, it. yeah. My lady, um. You were recently uh, above here in the, in the, in this in this facility, right? You came from up the stairs. It's a facility, it's a tavern. Yes, yes. I was upstairs in the tavern. Sorry, I, I'm very flustered by the. Uh, What's a facility? It's just a. No, I'm very flustered by the large amount of undead creatures outside. My apologies for the uh, confusing terminology. Uh, my question was simply: Is there anything up there? That we could use, perhaps, to help save your family or ourselves. Some people s said that there was some sort of tunnel upstairs. And some people said there's a tunnel down here, too. But everyone who went is gone, and we don't know if they God. died or if they got out. So. Some people are trying to, up top right now, they're trying to get on the roof, and they're, they're trying to climb across and jump to another one. I do not uh, <laughs> jump um <laughs> wasn't it uh all your plan to get to them yes that's why we we one of the reasons we came was to get to your uh family however we uh we are going to need to formulate a plan if that is what uh we intend to do our god comes over he's he's, he's hurt he's been, been banished right now there are a lot of zombies on, on the way from here to there if we could somehow bypass the ones outside here, which are growing, we could stand a chance to get to the vaults and fight whatever zombies are out there and go up. The tunnels would be a great idea, but if the tunnels are overrun, like we know they are, right. that would be worse than being out here. Right. Can't move. Um, My vote would be for the rooftops if it was possible. Uh, Caddick, what do you suggest? You're not really still planning on trying to what, save them. We've got to get out of here. We've got to get the rest of our men. We've got to leave this city. Certainly the path has proved much tougher than we anticipated. 
I would hate to think their lives were lost in vain. But abandoning the city may be the most sensible course of action at this point. We have we have heard a woman in distress here. As a paladin and a king, I feel like that I have trouble ignoring that. Yes, uh, one of our party members did give his word that we would save her, and I, I feel... Militarily, I agree with you completely. This was a loss. We lost our men. We lost our army. Uh, it might be fruitless to go forward, if not for... Well... For that. Uh, I, I guess um, we are here. Why don't you... Why don't you go up and see what there's to see, see if it is possible to get there roof to roof even, if that's a, a conceivable goal or not I will explore to see if there's any secret tunnel very well I'll head up to the rooftop okay so you guys you guys spend the time searching the tavern that you're in you're obviously in the Winchester and you're looking around trying to figure out if there's any other ways out whether it be up top on the roofs hopping over whether it be going underneath in the tunnels, which you know is probably bad, and there's another way down to the tunnels, so it's probably the same conclusion. So everyone goes out and, and looks. We'll start from the top down. Who went to the roofs? Is that you? I'll go with the roof. Okay. So um, which Caddick? Or Arky? Uh, both Caddick and Arky, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, well, all three. Huh? Oh no! How do you know that Rob wants to get out? <laughs> <laughs> all three <laughs> people out? go to yeah, six. I mean, spot. there we go that way. <laughs> <laughs> or no, it doesn't. He's, I mean, not, he's not even like to hit. Paladin is, to... is the, the the one who has to go. I, you know what? I think that you want all three of them to go. So that's what's going to happen. That's that's your first thing. All so right. all three go up with Hutch. So um, I'm going to take this music off of us, and I'm going to ask you to role play. I'll walk up the stairs. You're up the stairs. You're looking out, and you see a sea of zombies throughout the city in whatever view that you can see from here, which is limited. You can climb up to the roof, and you're there right now with all three of your characters and Hutch. So I bid you a role play. And I'm sure everyone has a lot to say. <laughs> yes. If we're leaving here, we're going to have to find a way out, Kadek. Yes, but which way do we go? Onward to the Mots, or do we flee the city altogether? Can we see the Mots from where we are? No, actually not from this window. If you're on top of the roof, you could definitely see them. Well, if we could get our hands on those flamethrowers, we might have an easier time leaving the city. I didn't anticipate we'd lose so many men, though. How can we be sure we'll even get there? I don't think any of us did. <sighs> Paladin Caddick just stares at all of you quietly. So does Arky. That was Paladin Caddick. That was Paladin Caddick? Um... <laughs> Come on, you need to know that answer. <laughs> that was pal definitely Caddick. Paladin Caddick. No, it? was it? Was it? I think it was the other Caddick. I wouldn't be talking to OG Caddick. Oh, what? Okay. You made me mad at him or something? What? You wouldn't talk to him? <laughs> We're still pretty cold. I want. I, I, I sought out Paladin Cat. Okay. He deliberately. Addressed. Okay. So OG Cat yeah. just stares at you. OG Cat is staring at you. Show, show us. <laughs> he laughs. He's smiling. Isn't it? He's trying to make it. <laughs> trying to make this, the relationship more awkward. <laughs> just staring at him. And what about Arky? Arky. Arky, like, you, know, the, you know, the person who, like, is Mr. Sunken City has nothing to say. Right? Nothing to say. He's only in Sunken City. He, he only gave his word that he was going right. to yeah. these people. Nothing He's to just... say. He's just going to follow everyone else. That sounds like him. We can do it, guys. Trust me. I... By through the rooftops, we can get to the mots, get those flamethrowers, and get you guys out of here. You're really sounding like a hero of the Sunken City. I saw you in a plate not too long ago. These are the type of things heroes have to do. I know it seems like everything may be stacked against us. Dozens, hundreds of knights dead, littering the path behind us. 
but these few final hundred yards, we will crush through it and free the city. Rooftop to rooftop to the moths. Yes, I know that we can do it. Wow. That doesn't sound like too much. You seem to know the sunken city very well about how far are we from the moths. How many rooftops would that be? How many rooftops do I think? I'd say about 15. 15 rooftops. And do I, are these buildings closer together? Do I know you can travel that way? Fortunately, all of them are very close together and they're pretty easy to jump across. And it'll bring you across the street, if you remember the map, from Sunken, uh, from Sunken City, from the vault. But the first one's a doozy. Oh, no. You have to cross the street. Yeah, I was going to say, this is on one side of the street, the vault's this. I... So you have to cross the street to get to the opposite side of the vault, and then you can... Then it's smooth sailing. And then or it's pretty easy. It's roof, it's... Yes, easy checks. We can do this. We've just got to fight our way across one street. So the first thing, do you guys want to climb up to the roof? All four of you are looking at the window. Yes. Okay. Whoever climbs up, give me a climb check. <laughs> you need one six and any of the dice. <laughs> who, who was that? Paddling Caddick. OG Caddick. <laughs> what? <laughs> Arky. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Arky got it. So Arky climbs up. All right, all right, all right. Hutch. Hutch is still So the two. This one else no. falls. It's not okay. We can do it. We can fight our way okay, through. So every, can't get out uh, this window. Uh, every, every, out a window. So keep in mind that there are zombies <laughs> all over underneath. So all three to climb out. Arky climbs right up. He probably has climbed this before, running away from Bludgy or something. And um, I just all start climbing. <laughs> all of you, the three of you, not, not Arky, you fell too, right? I did. Yeah. So uh, fail the check, and you slide down, and you're just holding on. And now you're at the point where you can get another try. But if you fail, you're not going to slide. You're going to fall fall down. Into the street? Yeah. We're, we're, are we're, we you above were too zombies? heavy? Yes. No matter where you are, you are above zombies. Yes. Arky was light. He went right over the gutter. You guys are Nobody too. looked down out the window. <laughs> you just looked up, all of these. That's right. <laughs> Nobody true. bothered looking down we're gonna, before you. We're gonna we're gonna put a pin in you guys right now and keep you there. Uh, who went down? I I was looking for. Uh, I was I'll go looking, down. I was looking for an entrance to a tunnel. Okay, so you might be with him. Mm -hmm. uh, you go you look for an entrance. Roll an investigation check. Sure. You can roll one as well. Ooh. I think and, William will stay on the ground level. And Six. look around at all, like, as much as he can to try to see out, you know, when he cracks. I know we boarded up, but he's looking around to see, like, if he can tell, like, maybe where most of the zombies are or if it's evenly distributed. Or he's trying to get a sense of what's going on outside as okay. best he can from where he is uh, in order to possibly make, you know, future decision on, okay. on that. But that's Six. what he's trying to survey. Okay. So. Six. Oh, you both did it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you both go through the entire first level, and you go back to where the storage is, and there, in in a, a behind where like the wine is kept, you find like a niche, and, and it opens up, and you see that it goes um, obviously into the tunnels. Do we hear anything? Actually, you have a problem getting down. I don't know if you'd fit down there. I don't know. You can actually... I'm going to say that you would probably be able to stick your head in and, and go to look inside. The crass, and you get down and you have to walk down, I think, some steps. And while you're down there, you would have found that. So you could see he finds it, but you're the one that can fit below. So it opens up, and you hear sounds of zombies screaming, dying. Like people also? Yeah. Down below. Yeah, in the yeah, tunnels. We, mm. we had heard that other people were looking for this, and we, they never came back. Mm. Do you hear that? Is he, does everybody hear that, or just I? You that? see that his head is in looking. Do you? Uh, There's people down here. Doesn't sound good. I will, I will close it before they get a sense that we are here. 
Not a bad idea. I guess this way is no good. Mm. Start to close it back up. All right. Um, while you are in there, oh, this is weird, but let's look and see if there's anything else hidden in that room. All right. I said that I was going to do that last session. Honestly, like I know you said, like we haven't found, we haven't found a lot of like, oh, I don't know, uh, paraphernalia from from our world here in this world with the buildings and whatnot. But this building in our world was a, was 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 run by a great warrior. Hmm. You do you do find food and wine, things that this tavern would have for its own necessities. But you don't find anything that is weaponry or armor. All right. All right. Is there any way you could do that thing with your roots? Not find any hidden places or passageways? I could. I said I want to do that until things are desperate, but things are desperate. Um. All right. If uh, they come downstairs, I guess, and don't find a way through the rooftops, then I guess I will try that and see if there's an alternative way in this town. Something hidden. Okay, as of now, you're not trying that. Yeah. And you're actually upstairs, so you're just sticking your head down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, that's what you guys find. You spend your time looking out the doors, and while you're there, I would imagine, which is in your nature to make sure everything is kind of sturdy and, and, and well-kept, um, everything seems to be holding. Mm. And by this time, zombies are in every direction. It's like a concert where there is no reprieve. Every single road, every single way, every single street, the zombies bunched up at this point. And you, you, from what you can see, it's not just around here. People are hiding in their homes, barricading when they can. You have a feeling the entire city just looks like this. Okay. We're gonna go back to up top. So everyone except for Arky Fint is now hanging on the side. You're going to need to roll one six on a climb check. If you do not, you're going to fall into the crowd of zombies. Oh, no. mm-hmm. All right, OG who gets expertise on his climb check. So first I roll two dice. <laughs> Success. And he gets it. Scampers right so you go, all of a sudden you grab on and like, ah, and you pull yourself up to the roof. And he's hurt. He would have died. So. <sighs> But uh, I would have died from the fall. You might have. Paladin Kadic has no such expertise. Do you still have Fragorash? Or is. Yep, I got, got it back. Okay. I made a, a special point of it. A sword. <laughs> point. They fall together, uh, at least. Okay, reroll. <laughs> Paladin Kadic. <laughs> yes! Oh! 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 A six and a one. Palinokadic, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take a little liberty here because I think I like this. Palinokadic starts, starts to fall, it climbs up, and then OG Kadic. Yeah. <laughs> and they both disappear. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, they touched. Tom's DM now. It's great. <laughs> what? <laughs> and then I find a magical sword. <laughs> That's it. Um, <laughs> right. Both Kadics are up. Now for Hutch. I spell it, teleport okay. Mr. Rod. There you go. <laughs> All right, climb check. Here we go. Easy. Oh, five and a four. That's a fail. Six, five. I'll use a reroll. Do I roll with luck die also? Oh. Yes. So I have changed luck for the better. This is going to start season three, but I'm going to start it now (gasps) for your own enjoyment and benefit. Luck is probably the best way you can hope for. Luck means that you can roll that many dice. Oh, Uh, watch. There's no way you can miss it now. I know. Don't talk to him about his timing. <laughs> uh, I also have passionate, which adds, which adds insight number to luck. So I have two climb die and, and three adds, dice. It adds insight to luck whenever you use luck? This round, it says. It's in utility skills and talent. So you cannot use it. Because you try to climb without doing it first, and now you're trying to re-roll, and, and while you're doing a re-roll, you're trying to do, uh, add another action onto it. It's not a reaction. But how would I how would I add insight to luck if I'm not using reroll? You would you would you would use it at the same time and prepare for the coming. It's like it's like being defensive. So you would say I'm gonna climb, I'm gonna use passionate, 
and then you would do that. Just if, it, in, if it's just, in utility. Just in case I would have to right. use a reroll. Right. You gotta remember Richard that. says you have Which means that you roll twice. So oh, right. So, so before what are you rolling I, now, like four dice? Before I use that reroll, I could roll my expertise roll. For my yes. First. Thank you, Richard. I remember to do it the first time. I've got to do it this time. All right, here we go. Let's end this right here. Uh, no. No good. So okay. now, you're, now you're on the reroll. <laughs> now I'm on my reroll. And your reroll gets expertise as well. Yes. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right. You got it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> right. You fall. You slide down. You hold on, and then you find you finally you you finally find something to grab onto, and then pull yourself up to the top. And both Caddix help you up. Okay, I suppose. You're on top of the roof, all four of you. You're looking out, and yes, you can see the Mots in the center of the the city, and they're surrounded by flamethrower guards, and they're just like roasting all the zombies coming up. Your first thought for your Arky Fint is they're gonna run out of. Steam, lava, whatever fuel they're using. How long can they last? They can't shoot forever. So for now, they're holding off. You guys can role play. We could cut our way to them, but I'm still very injured. I don't know if I could. If I can make the trip. I suppose we have no choice. Get the others. Wait, Cole can't come up here. Can't go this way, can he? Hmm. I don't think so. <laughs> How? <laughs> All right. We'll have to send a strike force to go get the mods. Come back here. And from here, back to the exit zone and out of the city. How wide is the street? The street's pretty wide because it's it's one of the two main, one of the three main streets. Um, so I would say it's probably about 50 feet. Whoa. You gotta do like a matrix jump. I was okay. thinking we could use um, your body as a bridge. Do I know of anything in the tavern oh, we man. could use as a uh, 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 fuel <laughs> makeshift fuel for anything we might be able to get um, from those for those weapons? Do you have anything on you? No, like mm. uh, whatever's in the tavern. You use the every. Uh, there's Ransacked spirits the below. We could make bombs out of those. Oh, D does Arky know what yes. they would use to fuel the uh, flamethrowers? You assume it's one of the things I said before. It's either steam, lava. Yeah, it could be steam and, and lava and or something like that. But are, are they, they running out? They will. They will soon enough. All right. Maybe we could make a bunch of fire bombs from the spirits in this tavern. Blast our way to them. It's not a bad idea. Also, one of the things they use is red rock, which is, which allows you to um, create like an incredible heat. And, but you don't have any on you. But if you found some, that would be like finding dynamite in a way when you combine it with other, with other things. <laughs> More dynamite. <laughs> we love. We know. Dynamite. We know how great you guys are dynamite. <laughs> we could go searching for the tunnel through the tunnels down below for some red rock. But then we'd have to climb back down. This. Am I the only one who's worried about this rooftop? We're we're stuck here. We're gonna have to scream for the others to climb up. Well, what are we gonna get up and down? If we can get some drink brought up to us here, we could find a way to light them up, drop them down below onto the zombies. And that, hope they don't walk into the tavern. That'll be a good way to clear our path. Ar Argon yells up. He goes, how's it going up there? So he's leaning out the window. Lots of zombies. No one has fallen, it looks like. Bring every bottle of spirits up to the roof. Now! What's your plan? We're going to clear a path through the street. Burn a path right through. I want to try to go across to another rooftop. What's the layout again? We want to get across this big street first and then up to that roof. Once you, we can once you, if you were able to cross, remember there's an NPC saying this, not the DM's telling you. Hmm. 
I always remember that. Um, it's at that, at that road we just talked about. We just put it at 50 feet. But once you get to that road, you're in the center. You can, you can go roof to roof, all close together, right down. To where the mobs are. Yes. Is it, it's, it's my understanding that the closest rooftop was across the street. Yes. Well, no, there are other ways back to the back to the front of the, the city. You actually can make your way kind of back to the, the 50 Knights. That's not the direction you want to go. Right. It, so we're going to firebomb the street. Walk across. So you look down Stroll there. Stroll across. So you can firebomb the street, but you notice that there's just a sea of zombies behind them. Behind what? Each zombie that you would kill. Oh. It's like late dawn of the you know, day of the dead or it's, whatever. Wait yeah. a second. It's elbow second, to second elbow day of the zombies dead. we're talking yeah. about. Wait a second. We're, we're forgetting something here, Gaddick. The hammer. Fragorash. Yes, of course. We can use its power. We can, we can open the door and go right across the street if we stay close together. That's right. Let's do that, then. It's a standard maneuver. Great. Um... All right. So, what are you guys doing? Are you, so we're gonna head back down. <laughs> I don't want time. time for climb checks. No. Uh... <laughs> well, now, perhaps the others can find a way to get us down. This climb check, we... because you're going downwards, isn't there? A... Is going to be one fail, and you're out. Unless there's some weird circumstance to save you. Wait, one time fail. Out. I'm going to look around the roof for better ways down. It's got to be like a proper entrance. A ladder. There's no ladder. The fire exit. No, there's no fire exit. Come on. How do they get off the roof, these people? How do they get on the roof? They don't go on the roof. Yeah. Okay, I guess they wasn't go up. going up. Think about it. <laughs> they put the roof on, and then that was it. No one went up there again. Do you have a ladder up to your roof? Well, this is an established, this is a commercial <laughs> establishment. This right. Home. If I had to get to the roof of where Run I work. Dwarf. Yes, if you go outside, like, the window, there's a stair that goes right up to the top of the building. Uh, I, I could get to the roof of Phoenix Studios pretty easily if I want to, right? Yeah, you could. Mm. Ah. <laughs> All right, we got to. So is it, so this is, is it... not the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> we need to so talk... really talk to this is a of this establishment. This is a city <laughs> run by you... gnomes who are notorious for being very dangerous and quick thinking. A lot of deep thinking, but quick, quick thinking for safety. <laughs> right. They're almost blowing themselves up on the regular, and you want to know where the fire escape is. <laughs> okay, what we got to get back down. <laughs> Getting back down will be easier. <laughs> Just duck. That's the fire escape. <laughs> okay. Why I search the roof for the uh, rope. I'm going to rappel down. You do not find a rope on the roof. Fabric. Sails. Tarps. No, you don't find any of those Tarps. things. What shit? I, I, I have roof. a legit question. What shape is the roof? Because I'm picturing a pitched roof. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm picturing like a flat roof, like yeah. a building. In no. Why? Because the zombies outside, you think We're you're in like, like a, a, big, a building. suburban area? You probably should have asked that. It's like a multi-story really building, smart. right? It is, with a pitched roof to yeah. the rain It's off. an inn, right? Yeah, you want water adding up? You want a pool up top? I don't know. I don't modern buildings work. <laughs> I mean, I know it's off topic. What are we question. doing? <laughs> All right. Oh, God, We've got to climb what's down. What's happening? What's happening up there? We're going to climb back down. Uh, okay. An OG cat. No, I don't know why we just go across the street, but okay. <clears throat> what? Why would we wait? What? I thought we would just climb on the roofs. But I guess if you want to go through hand to hand. I thought we can't climb. We're we're trying to get to the moths. Yeah, I know. Can, can I hear this conversation? The <laughs> uh, you're in the basement line. No, yes. We, we cannot hop to that roof. There's find a rope and tie it to the other side or something. There's no rope up here. Maybe down. Either way, we gotta climb back down. <laughs> Wait, no, we if don't. If you're gonna use your magical Great. items, and that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll we'll create a perimeter and just go for it. What Fine. if we? I mean, how high up are we? Uh, jump down. Twenty-five Control to thirty jump. feet. Thirty feet. Or yeah. Your Maybe someone below could put some. I'm gonna, to catch us. I've got, I've got a big mattress full of dead bodies that are walking <laughs> around for you to be caught on. I'm going downstairs. I'll meet you there. He goes down. He fills everybody in. About what's going on. What's going you're on now, you're now caught up. All right. They're stuck, I, I, stuck I, on the roof? I'm going to look for a rope yeah. of some kind. <laughs> they might be stuck on the roof. I'm going to tell us they're up there? No, he didn't tell you to stuck. <laughs> he just says stuck. they're up on the roof. No. I'm, I'm going to go investigate. They're suspiciously taking their time getting down, so they might be stuck. 
Yeah. Damn it, I can, I, can, I, can, I get up, can I get upstairs? What's like, going on up there? Lost in his own museum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so first he's explaining. You, ha you have probably about a minute easily before Liam comes mm. up. So what do you guys want to do? All right. OG Caddick says there's no more time to waste. I'm climbing down. Climb down the back or the front or the side? Uh, how did I get up? The back. Why, uh, how's the front and sides look? The zombies everywhere. Any... I just want to know where you're going to die. Which way is the closest to the window? I think they're in. They all... The back is where you came from. Yeah, yeah the same way. Okay. okay, OG Caddick gets expertise. Thank God. Oh, oh, oh man. OG Caddick climbs down, hops into the window. Okay. Paladin Caddick. <laughs> Jesus. He's going to use a re -roll. Oh, man. Remember Paladin Caddick? Remember how cool he was? He was pretty cool. He, he served his purpose. <laughs> Any future stories for Paladin Caddick? I don't know. Man, I'm not sure. Wait, luck. Don't forget luck. This is a re-roll, so I add a die for luck. Two dice for luck. And because I'm passionate, does that mean? No, oh, you have to call it ahead of time. Right, He's right. just saying words. <laughs> because of... You got four? And because I'm stubborn. <laughs> uh, oh, you get, you get oh, no. Do you get expertise on your oh, re-roll? Oh, I yes. get expertise on the re-roll. Come on. Yes. Statistically, I cannot fail. Although all those prior rolls. Are... No. Why would you oh, no! Oh, Paladin no. Caddick no. goes to climb down and the side falls off. He falls down. Draw frag What do you do? Draw frag rash is a four. Okay, so you don't try to brace yourself at all. <laughs> you a lot of hit points. You don't have this time to think. So you, you, you fall through the air and while you're falling, you, you try to pull, you try to pull um, frag rash out. And first you fall into the zombies, okay? And you take the damage of falling. Okay, so your fall damage is not that bad. It's six damage. Nothing. Uh, you kill some zombies on the way down. Immediately the zombies are surrounding you. I'm going to give you a sleight of hand check <laughs> oh. to get Fragratch out at any time, whether you're, you're falling, probably near the, the bottom part of falling. Um, so give me a six. On a sleight of hand check? You're due. <laughs> sleight of Six. hand and under talent. Declare. Uh, declare it. On a sleight of hand check. And I'll declare passion. Um, you can't do it here. I'm compelling you to do this roll. It's not your turn. But you can see it in his eyes as he falls. <gasps> I'm pretty good at sleight of hand, though. The cat expression. Passionate probably should just be Boom. a little passive. <laughs> Okay, so you fall to the ground and you get out, you get it right out, and immediately the ones nearby, like, ah, they start, they start going to pain. Stand back, foul creatures! All the ones you stand up, and you go, and just fall to the ground and turn to ash. The other one, the other ones are not dismayed by that, and they just they're still push again. But this first round, all of them die around you in an area of effect. Cool. <laughs> cool. Hutch, what cool. do you want to do? I climb all the way down. Okay. Oh, Gaduk! Climb! Okay, five to two. No six. Expertise! You could have used six! Okay. You could have used passion there. there. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you climb, you, you climb down. <laughs> you get to the point where all the zombies are just reaching for you. Remember that you're just you're trying to climb down, but they're all just right there. But you do have the hammer, of course. So, um, how do you get off the wall down? Do you just drop at the last couple of feet? Or you just beat it? As I'm going down, do they start to back away from me because they sense the hammer? Um, a little bit. We're, we're in a quick moment there. You don't have a lot of time to think. I'm going to give you six seconds. Six, five, yeah, four. Yeah, I'm going to drop down. As soon as my feet touch the ground, I'm going to draw the hammer. Okay, so you're, trust you're trusting in the repel. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, one, so you, you trust that you're being repelled. One is fighting it, falling, like, you know, falling apart, and uh, he attacks you. Okay. Um, here we go. He hits. One damage. Oh, 
<laughs> he slashes you. You guys are probably within about, I would say, 20 feet of each other. Okay. What is Arky going to do? Arky is trying to climb down. Arky. Oh. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So Arky will climb down. Skillful Arky. He should be probably even rolling more than Kadic, right? Do you think? Is Arky a better climber than Kadic? I don't know about that. No. No. Arky's not good at anything physical, is he? No. Um, <laughs> so just roll. He's pretty good at murder. You can, you can, you can roll, uh, I think, two, two dice is fine. Two dice. Yeah. Nimble gnome. He climbs right in. Nimble with a G. Okay, you guys, <laughs> Craston, you walk up top, and as you get there, you see Arky coming out. What's going on up there? Hutch and Kadok have fallen. Uh, do I have my cape, or do you still have my cape? Who has the cape? Did you give it to somebody? I don't. I gave it to Hutch at one point. I don't no. know if it was given back. When. No, you had, you, went... it, you had it on you when you drank the water, and then you drank the blood, and then came back underwater to pull me up, right? No, I gave it to you during that fall when we did the climb. We can say here that you gave the cape back because he clearly didn't use it now, and I would imagine okay. you would take it back. Okay, it's fine. I, I think yeah. out the window I go. Okay, so he runs out the window and just hovers down to uh, where you, where who is which one? Caddy. To where Caddy is. Okay, downstairs you you hear uh, what's going on. Fratella runs to your arms. Arky, hold me! What's happening? It. We're, we're making a run for it. Out the window? And yeah, we're going right across the street. We'll need to prepare. Grab some bottles and rags and some flint and steel so we can light them. <laughs> oh, okay. Hurry. You want to be an adventurer and this is it. Okay. <laughs> he runs to runs the back. He starts smashing bottles and oh, the things. Uh, other, <laughs> other, other, pe <laughs> other people... Other people start joining in. Uh, remember, there's four, about 40, 50 other people there, and they just start grabbing bottles. You hear lots of smashing no, things no, happening. Don't, don't, wait, wait, wait. No, don't smash Arm the Arm yourself bottles. however you can. Don't smash the bottles. Now you say, you're saying that, but your voice is drowning out <laughs> all right. in all the yelling oh, and smashing. Some of them might be using them as cutting weapons. Yeah, but then, oh, that's fine. This, this building is made of wood, is it not? Yeah. Yeah, we don't want to... Well, that's fine. We'll figure all this out. Fire right? bombs. That's, that's the goal of all this. So what we're going to do is, Tom brings up a good, great point. <laughs> what we're going to do right now is I'm going to roll um, 10 times. And I'm going to say in 10 times, if I happen to get three ones between all the the uh, the, the bottle breaking and the lighting of uh, trying to see if it's going to work and people who don't know what they're doing, they're going to burn the place down. I, what? You got to roll it at the same time, right? I'm going to roll Three, three at the same, three ones at in one shot, right? Or I'm gonna roll ten dice. If I roll three ones and ten dice, oh, which is not easy. Oh, ten dice. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you said ten rolls. That's a oh no, different. ten dice. That's a ten yeah. dice. No, nothing in three. One, Whoa. one in six. What? Oh, that was six. Yeah. Two one at a time. Keep now. going. Oh, all right, all right. You get two Still ones. Still one and eight. I had to get double one. Could I do it? You could do it. Snake eyes. Oh, it's close. Close. It was close. Two ones. I'll put that out now. Put that out. Shall we roll? You should not. No. Jo roll. Joshua I'm, gave me one. I'm gonna. Oh, Joshua. Oh. Is it all ten? This is for you. <laughs> this is the moment. I'm gonna roll all ten. Oh. Yeah. I could do that. I'd be vicious, right? <laughs> no. No, it's Ooh. not going well. <laughs> no. 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 All right. No. All right. All right. We tried. We tried. I, I, I tried to get some little, little anarchy in there. All right. Um, while the, all the panic is going on, I am going to look for, for for rope or anything that we could stretch from one building to another. Okay. Hmm. Uh, when you announce looking for rope and go around, Argon announces he has a rope on him. Well, how much rope do you have? You get from this building to across the street. He goes, I'm checking it right now. I found this for one of the people upstairs. It's 50 feet. Ooh. Oh, I... It's exactly what it is across, which means we don't have enough. Um, well, I can't. Uh, I can't get out through a window or anything. Anyway, I you're, could use. You're, a, you're quite large, perhaps. Be an anchor. We, we, yes. Yeah. Uh, if you can find something to hook across the other way, you could throw someone who's perhaps small. I could. <clears throat> Someone's. Someone was brave. Rogue enough to take that that 
largely. Aki, this is your moment. <laughs> You're small and brave. Aki will do it. What happened to cutting our way through and well, path of fire? I, I happen to notice that two things, your, your, uh, Aki. One, the people that uh, would do the cutting are, are behind the inn right now, as opposed to in front of it. They would have to cut their way through quite a large number of zombies just to get back to the front. Um, and two, uh, this building, like myself, is made of wood. Uh, so I am concerned, I'm not a science person, but I am concerned that if all of the creatures outside burst into flame, this building too may burst into flame. And again, just to point out, I cannot easily escape. So I'm very nervous about that. This was me. Okay, so you throw me somewhere and what do I do? We can tie the rope across and everyone can just climb across the rope to the other building. Over the zombies. All right. You're going to throw me onto the roof? I all, all, the, all the roofs have, have... All the buildings have forges, and most of them do, so just find a chimney. All right. I don't know. All right. Um, hmm. All right. Now, I can't fit upstairs normally, but if I tried to bust my way up... To you the could, so you can climb up the stairs as far as you can go and then, like, reach out and then... It's, I don't really care. I'm just going to try and burst a hole through the roof. Right. <laughs> so you, you do it. <laughs> you go through. <laughs> oh, I, I, I you're 25 roof. feet tall. So yeah. you're, you're actually as tall as the building. Yeah, so very... Legitimately, you have to be like this in yeah, the building. Yeah, the whole time I'm like doing a double. Right. Walk. So you absolutely can just reach outside of the building. And I'm, I'm going to even say, doing that, you're probably going to close um, yeah, probably about, I'm going to give you like 15 feet, I would say, easily. Yeah, yeah. So 35 feet, you have to, you have to toss a gnome, which, why can't you? All right. We can do it. Okay. Charles Warson wants to know what Arky's shop is. Arky's shop is down the road on the opposite side, the same side as the vault. Do it like backwards. You You're so wanna... brave, Arky. I know, but heave me that way, right? <laughs> Over to... the back. You want me to throw you behind myself I so like... I don't see where you're going? I, I've never thrown anyone before, well, really. Well, I suppose you want to aim. Okay. I was thinking more like a javelin, like a dog. <sighs> Just kind of let you go. Okay. <laughs> Head was, first. Is Would he? You is he? Feet first. I don't. I know. don't know. Is he sturdy like an oak or is he bendy like a willow? I'm bendy like a willow. Oh, well, so, really, you whip me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I imagine I'm sturdier now, but I'm yeah. a willowy. Yeah, yeah I was a really kind of. It's gonna be actually like easy a, for you to. Doesn't gotta be too hard now. You're not trying to. <laughs> I think you can Look, easily just try to set records here. You just gotta get underthrow you. I kind of. I want to be. I want to land in gently. I'm gonna hold the other end of the rope, so you can only go so far. I think it's a D one thousand for how many feet he could fling you. I could probably throw you over those mats. <laughs> <laughs> Bet you could throw you over those mats right. over there. All right, well, I'll leave the technique to you. All right, I've definitely done things like this before. <laughs> okay, how many combat dice do you have regularly? You just roll normally. Just uh, one or more? Two. Two. So I came up. I came up with it with a, with a number. No. So basically, you're you're pretty strong. Do you want to throw at Full strength? Do you want to overthrow? Do you want to underthrow? And to what ratio? Um, the roof across is also a pitched roof, right? Yeah. Uh, my plan is to try and aim for the back end of the roof, and I'm going to hold on to the rope. If it goes too far, I can so overthrow it. Yeah. You I'm, use I'm, all of your might? Uh, yeah, I don't know how. I've never, I, yes, I'm going to try and throw him as hard as I can. Okay. Better, better that. I, he's not going to. I'm not worried about that. If he goes too far, he's, he'll be okay. Okay, well, yeah. is, is everyone ready to go? 300 miles an hour. Just okay. <laughs> Arky is going <laughs> to really neck. take a it's... double grip on the rope. Okay, so you hold the rope with both hands. But maybe I should harness it to myself. Yeah, you oh, should yeah. tie yourself around. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's probably okay. I was hoping that wouldn't be done. Oh, my God. It's going to be like a Gwen <laughs> Stacy. <laughs> yeah, he's going to snap your spine. Maybe I yeah. shouldn't harness myself. Trust me. I can't hold on to it. The momentum will <laughs> yeah, fly me you, through the air. Yes, you have to tie yourself to the rope. Okay. Who's best with knots? <laughs> Hopefully you, because you got to tie yeah, it off you. on the other side. All right. Oh, yeah. I'll give I mean, you um, he ties it to himself. <laughs> I, I'll give you five dice on um, tying the dice. Oh my god. Everybody's life is going to be in your hands when you tie that rope on the other side. <laughs> Two okay. fives. Yeah. Two fives. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you tie it up. That feels good. <laughs> All right. Just All right. a rope. What do you need? All right. Um, I, I, 
I like, yeah, pull on. Yeah, it. that's what you did. Did you pull up? Yeah, five, five. <laughs> All right, five, five. Yeah, um, before I throw you, <laughs> tie the other end of the rope. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw you with this hand. So tie the other end of the rope to this wrist. Right. So, uh, here we go. So I don't have to worry about holding on to you, but like you'll catch. Okay. You know? What's happening there? He's making another roll. Okay. Oh. Yep, yep. Up, oh, up. Oh, it's on the other wrist. <laughs> okay. Perhaps not a slip knot. I don't know. All right. That's fine. We're going to get it. It feels fine. The bow line. Gonna... All right. I'm gonna... I wrap it up. All right. Here we go, Aki. Now, remember, I hold you in the highest of esteem. I will not. I will not uh, uh, hurt you. <sighs> yes. Uh, okay. You will throw me across the street in the most respectful way possible, I'm sure. That's it. All right. There we go. All right. Okay, we're going to pause right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Everyone out in the street right now, one, two, and three, you guys are uh, battling your way through. Where is your goal? What do you want to do? It's chaos simply because everywhere around you is zombies, even though you're repelling them. Can I see Hutch? And Craston has joined right next to you. Yes, you see I Hutch. May, I'm trying to get to Hutch. Okay, so one turn can get you, can get you in. Um, I. It's, it's basically going to be how many guys die and, or don't. Oh, that was it. I want to go after the one guy who attacked me last round. Go ahead. You can do that now. All right. Natural six for 12. Okay. So so, so as you're you're holding the, the blades aloft, you're trying to, like, you know, create the perimeter. You're fighting when you have to. You hit. You kill the guy. The zombies will die in one shot. Um, you're able to make your way over. One zombie gets a scratch on you. Two, two hit points. And Kat, OG Katic is above, right? OG had to climb down into the tower. Oh, you had him climb? Successfully. Yeah, he's inside. The, oh, into the tower. Into the window. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you OG Katic comes down. You see you see what they're doing. You see his hand is through through the through the wall, <laughs> and they're, they're throwing Arky. Um, now, you guys can role play. I'm going to count six seconds every time. You're together, the three of you. Go for it. Okay. Weapons out. Is he a fra frag rush? Up. Hammer. All right. Him out. It's one Start round. Progressing. Put the hammer out. Okay, where Make are you walking to? Making our way to the front, front. of the tavern. So we're going to walk mm -hmm. around. You walk, you walk around the tavern, and the creatures are pretty much dying. I'd have to roll twice for each one. I'm going to say that like I did last time. It's pretty much the ultimate death. If one doesn't get it, the second one does. You guys are moving as, as a unit, moving across. You get, a, you get a, a, around the tavern. You're in the street right now, and all of a sudden, you hear over your head, <laughs> All right. <clears throat> um, okay. So can I do an, would this be an unarmed attack? This is technically a throw, so, but you don't have any. Um, just use whatever you got in strength, and that is your, your toss. Okay. So I'm just going to roll strength. All right. Yeah, actually, just, let's just roll, just roll a strength check. That's the best, probably the best way to do this. Okay. The more sixes you get, the the more powerful it is. And then I've already added a number here that can add on top to it. Two sixes. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so one six was going to be like you got to the roof. Two sixes. <laughs> Pass that roof. <laughs> and right. I, I have a lot of numbers here. So, <laughs> so he goes, whew, he launches you. You go up, rope one, <laughs> rope two. Oh! You go flying uh, through the air. Grab the chimney. Over the roof. <laughs> that chimney oh, no. is, is, is another another oh, district no. at this point. You go flying over roof one, roof two, oh, roof no. three, Where I go? roof four, oh, no. roof what? five, what? roof six, and oh, then you man. land on roof seven, and you're almost near where the where the vault is. You hit the roof. I'm gonna you roll you through him as hard as you could. I'm gonna roll. Oh I didn't God. realize. I'm gonna roll six of these. If I roll a six, you go through. Yes, you do. You hit the roof. <laughs> <laughs> you go through the roof into the ground, and you're gonna take the following damage. Is there a mattress? Let's see. It's possible. Ooh, it's still a lot. Yeah. Take 29 damage for Arky. Oh, man. And gotta have. I'm gonna roll. I'll let you roll. If you roll a six, he falls on a mattress. A mattress. Take half that damage instead. 
<laughs> Let's go. Yes. Amazing. Um, <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I believe I threw him very hard. Uh, do I have any opportunity to do to do a check to grab the rope? I didn't want to interrupt that. Uh, roll slide of hand. No. Give me your. I don't think you're pretty fast. I'm going to say no. two R sixes, two sixes. Okay. On slide of hand. No, can't do it. You can roll one, and then if you get a six, you can roll again. Sorry. In those situations. No. Okay. So that's it. So you try to grab the rope. The rope goes wide. <sighs> Below you, you see them uh, walking across, and the rope falls on you guys. You see, and you see exactly what's happening. Throw it back. Throw it back up. I pick it up. Can't we just throw it back? It's cold. He tosses it to you. All right. Grab it. Yeah. All right. Give us one end. We'll walk across the street with it. All right. All right. Okay. Great. Make our way across the street. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> you make your way across the street. Oh, um, wait a second. Was that throw necessary at all? No. <laughs> Not anymore. Well, I didn't know that you would show. I was already throwing him. I am very nervous. I threw him very far. Listen, you got to start throwing more things when we're on the battlefield, okay? I had no idea I could do that. All right. <laughs> you get to the other side of the street. Imagine you're all walking together. Mm-hmm. And what do you do? Go inside. Yes. Okay. You go inside the building. Wait. Um, someone's yeah, going to have to go up this, 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 the wall here. The board, we're going to go through the doorway and yeah. the wall. Yes. I know. I know. So right, I go listen, up to a window. Uh, I'll toss it up to you. Yeah. I'll stay out here with the rope. Someone go upstairs to the second floor. Okay. It's done. So you, you go to the top. <laughs> you get to the top. You see a chimney. Tie it on. What is that? Slide a hand. Under mm. talent. Under talent. I'm not that great with nuts. I know what is. <laughs> I'll try. Wait, what about me? Oh. Okay, you tie not. <laughs> just, you know, in, in the game, there's a skill rope use. So without that, you're just rolling sleight of hand, and mm-hmm. it's obviously very hard. Um, so you tie a, a knot onto it, and it's okay. Right. Can I also then straddle the chimney and hold on to the rope as well? Like, say this is the chimney. You want to lean off and hold the rope? Like, I'm going to go behind it and put my legs around it. And, and, and then pull hold, the rope? And hold the rope like this. So I have not... If the knot fails, I'll be... Okay, the knot fails. Well, no one's on it yet. It just fails when I hold it. <laughs> is that bad? It fails and nothing happens. Oh. There's no negative effect. Oh, I'm... Okay. Right. okay. Is, that, is that what you were trying to do? No. But I thought, I thought you, were, you, were, did you put... Did you make the rope no, taut? doing it the other way. No, I was I was straddling to hold the rope he in was... case someone went on it and it oh, fell. Okay. Well, <laughs> as you were doing it, <laughs> the rope fails. Well. You do it and the rope just goes... <laughs> uh, no. With no... With no touch at all. <laughs> okay. So then I'm going to loop it around the chimney and then I'm going to hold it like a counterweight on this side like so it's like okay. a lever. There you now. go. Alright. L- Linus first. Climb across. Who? Oh? oh. Linus? L- L- Litus. L- oh, Litus. <laughs> Least wait. Least wait. I didn't know whoever was looking around. I didn't know who Linus was. <laughs> I apologize. I'm talking through it. There's a roof in my... Oh, you just come on up. We got a rope. <laughs> okay, they, everybody starts going over and climb you across. Um... I'm going to say everyone's probably... I mean, some people could fall here. So I'm going to say a one is going to be a fall for these people. Here we go. Everyone, one, two, three, like four, 40 people, five. So I'm going to fall. <laughs> we've, got, we've got two people hey, here on the street. Everyone roll eight That's right. dice. You can, be a, and you can pluck some people around. Everyone roll eight dice and track the rope. ones. How many ones? How oh, many? Eight? Geez. Eight dice. Let me know how many ones. Oh, yeah. You can roll them all at once. Just get it over. Oh, one. Two. <laughs> four, three. Linus. Three ones. No, Linus. <laughs> Lin- Linus is one of the guy. One guy comes up and goes, I'm Linus. Did you- <laughs> oh, you're first. Yeah. I- I- I'm a Linus. <laughs> <laughs> How many total? Two. One. I got one. Two, three, four, what? five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, Ooh, man. He's like, what? <laughs> so <laughs> nine people So I'm nine people drop and that's, fall into the zombies. That's probably realistic. Okay. I don't think I could do that. You know? Oh, that's it? They yeah. die, you said? Yeah, you, we and Hutch were gonna form a strike force squad, right? Flying battalion. Strike force squad. You say that as Flying they start raining from the I did. Tell, I said that before we rolled. I said we have two guys on the ground. <laughs> right, as I'm doing, like they're falling down. I'm like, Hutch, we'll form a, a squad and we'll go. Oh wait, 
<laughs> okay, I'll give them all. I'll give them all uh, an easy chance to not die. Okay, none of them die. They all fall. They fall to the ground, and some go unconscious at your feet. Oh, great! I drag. I drag them in. Four go unconscious, and the rest just lay on the ground. They're hurt because they fell. They're out there in they the felt, street. You know. Can we get to them? Uh... Yeah, you with them? I'm saying that you went there. That was your plan to go out there and be with where they were walking underneath, right? So, and we got them all back. See, this they was... fall down. They're all there. Four fall unconscious. No, no. This was forty. We'll have people to make go back. We'll have to make multiple trips. Uh, other people are are, are, pick, are picking them up. Okay, thank you. <laughs> other, that's like that, it's not that hard. <laughs> other people are are picking them up and they're they're bringing them over, and you get them over to the other side. I put one person on my shoulder. Okay. All right. Up to the roof. We saw roof hopping. All right. Okay. Uh-huh. So um, everyone that is not there. Oh wait. <laughs> Goodbye, all. Everyone that is not uh, Tom, you can get a get across. If you're running on the ground, if you're dropping down to the ground where they are, which we'll just say they're there available, you don't have to make any rolls. If you're going through the rope, you need to roll. Don't roll a one. What do you want to do? Uh, I'll take the ground. Right. Okay. Yeah. I'm I'm already there. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you jump on the ground. Argon does the same thing. Uh, the people that are scared take the ropes because they want to stay up. They're just nervous. Um, everyone gets across for for tell the rope for Tella. For Tella would be very worried and looking for Arky. I'm gonna say she does the rope. And she sticks perfectly. She gets the other side and immediately starts jumping the roofs and going after oh, Arky. Oh, She's the only one that made it across. She'll the save him. <laughs> yeah, everyone, <she's>, <laughs> everyone fell. Her love for Arky brought her through. Um, what Cole, we want to do. Um. All right. Uh, there was food downstairs. Yeah, this actually isn't that hard. You, they they can make a perimeter. You could just get a, get a, You could just okay. go. All right. And that's all right. If I can get if this, I, is, if this I, is a little bit of timing, but you have two guys that are making area effects, so it's okay. It's not really. But I can't make it into the other roof either. No, no, they'd have to stay around you. I'll you would have to travel the whole way around, and the, your perimeters will only you will have to separate, so you can't get the invincibility. So that's the way you get cold down there. You just be on two sides of him. Let me ask you a question. Do the zombies have lust for his wood? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds perverse. <laughs> that might be the best question anybody ever asked on this show. <laughs> this is like back to the early days when he was just asking all the, all the anatomical questions about. <laughs> I have a question about larks. Did you say two zombies have lust, a lust for their wood? Lust for his wood? Did you say that? Is that, is that your, your collect, I, I mean, you know. This is why we needed to hammer it out in the very beginning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my question. Do zombies lust for their wood? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you asked about vampires. In a different you way. don't we know. Did, yeah. This actually was a question. I think, at, at yeah. Some point. yeah, you told yeah. You, you said we'd find out. You're finding out now. Um, Today might be the day. You don't know what would happen if the zombies get to him. He can't rooftop. Can't Cole hop. just hold anyway. you? Can he just hold them? Like, why don't we just leave him? I mean, oh, use, that, use them as perimeter yeah, weapons. Can he just like? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's viable. Yeah, I don't see why you can't do that. That would be good. That would work. He just keeps everybody at bay just by holding you. Is he big enough that we could all fit on him like a tank? No. You're saying we could go. I, yeah, probably I like mean, two. a couple of us could. He's like a real tree. He's, 25, so he's holding two of them, tall. and me and William sit on his shoulders. Absolutely. Could do that. Yes, he could do that. I propose that plan. But he doesn't want to do that, does he? Let's. Are we, are we doing this or no? Is that happening or no? So we're going through the street. Creston says that. I don't know if you guys go Is that what's happening? That. I, I imagine. Like, you can let him hold you, and he's just going to keep you as, like, repellent. It's gonna hold you like this. Just, it's almost like your your weapons. And everyone else is gonna rooftop hop. Yes. And he's gonna hold us. Right. And we're gonna. We're gonna, gonna, I'll ride we're on gonna go on foot. I'll so, ride on, on his ground, shoulders. On right. So the first the first step. Do you want to do that or not? My my question is, <laughs> if he's holding the hammers, like if he's 20, 25 feet tall, I'm he's holding hold- you. Yeah. He's, yeah. You're holding me, who's holding the hammer, and I'm gonna be what? He's gonna keep you down to the ground. Oh, so, he, so he's, he's going to be like, gonna like this. Yeah. Okay, by the way, I'm walking in the building. By the way, it's not like this. It is a sphere. Yes. Okay. Okay. He'll just be like. Okay, so that's happening. Are you getting on his shoulders? Well, I'll be low now. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'll be on. I'll be whipping like anybody. You, you, you any stragglers. You protest, and then they're just climbing. <laughs> <up>. <laughs> I don't. All right. Well, well, do you think? 
I don't know. I could support the weight, but I, 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 I would prefer if somebody um, other than King Thanon. Well, who, well, I guess other Kadok is up there too, right? Yes. OG Kadok. OG Kadok and Thalen are make, making their way to rooftops. Okay. All right. Maybe I, should, maybe I should go with them. Yeah. I, should I go with them? I think that might be wise. All right. Okay. That's done. Fine. I'll do that. <laughs> you make your way through the streets. Okay. And you're, as, as, as a giant repelling. I don't know who this is more embarrassing for. <laughs> Um, you keep them all pretty much at bay. You're going to get shots, though, every once in a while. As long as they roll a uh, roll one. So you're going to get one shot. Three damage. Yeah. Does my whipping help from the top? No. Uh, <laughs> I was picturing I was like... The, Four damage. The seven damage door. total. Okay. This is all to you. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to do one final roll for the entire thing. I'm going to times it by five. Thirty damage. Okay. On top of that. Okay, so they're, they're like clawing at you, hitting you. You're just like going through them. Sometimes you have to kick a little bit. Sometimes you sweep them across. And now it's just like... Uh, you finally get to the uh, to the vault. And you're just, you're just looking at it. And you could you could probably almost reach them to the top of the vault if you oh. wanted to. Um, by this time, you also see Arky, who's gotten up, who's now on top of the roof with Fratella. And the rest of everybody is coming up. You see, you see Caddick, you see William, and uh, you see Thalen. Um, so everyone's getting together. What are the doors to the vault? Are they barricaded? They're, it's uh, Those doors are steel doors. Can't get in. Yeah, so they're not open, they're not broken down, and they're not barricaded. Are they still up top, like flamethrowing? Yes, yeah, so, so zombies are climbing the walls. Oh. oh. Well, let's... Um, I guess we, we were, by our presence, we're clearing away one wall. Yeah, yeah. Uh, your Highnesses, we've come to rescue. We can't escape. We're holding the gate. If you come down, we'll get you out. Okay, you yell that, but you can tell your own voice is being swallowed by the thousands of zombies. Uh, Toss me up there. Uh, okay. You're not in his hand. Stand up. Let me up there. You have to All right, I put them down on the ground level. Okay, you're on a ground level. Don't get burned. This is like it's like a cool vehicle <laughs> Ninja Turtle thing, moment. It's like, it's like they're jumping out of the wagon, like it's the fighting foot right. soldiers. And I pick him up. Okay. Okay, you, with his full extent reaching and you reaching, and him actually going like that, you're able to get to the top. Ernest! You get to the top and you see the, a, a flamethrower guard comes over to you and then pulls it up. Get behind me. It's a, little, it's a little no. Come this way. We can get you out of here. Go talk to the king. Get behind me. All right. Hop up on the roof. <laughs> oh, <stop. laughs> I get back down. Yeah, you see fire like, <laughs> coming up the roof. Um, you walk over and you see King Mott there. Clinkerton Mott is there. Olaf is next to him. And you see um, Bellamon is there as well. And there's about 12 guards. And they're all just sitting there just flying, uh, firing Straight fire. You're the king, I presume. <coughs> yes, I'm the king. Uh, this doesn't look too good for the city. Now, we can get you out of here. We cleared a path. Looks over. That's no path. The tree. Yes, but we have weapons that will get us through. We got here, no problem. And what happens if I leave? Who becomes king of Sunken Kingdom? Uh, maybe we can regather whatever, whoever we can, whatever army we can, retake the city. But right now, you're you're gonna run out of fuel in these flamethrowers. You can't last here forever. I don't trust your plan. I don't trust any of you. What else would you have us do? You want to die here on top of whatever hill this is? I don't trust you. Would you trust death? Because that's what's coming for you. I look to 
uh, the sons. Okay. Speak some sense into your father. Um, I don't know. Um, Dad, we should go, right? So what are we going to do? <clears throat> These are the people that we sought to kill. Soma. Now we were to trust them. They're going to kill us and take the kingdom. What kingdom? Hmm. This is not a kingdom. Look at it. One. It sucks. Two. It's overrun by zombies. Three. It's not the real second city. It's real. It's here. This is where we exist. The best thing we've got. Where do we go? Anywhere. Olaf is in there. He, he comes up. He looks over the side. I agree. I don't know what we're going to do, but we have to trust them. So let's do it. Look what you've built here. In this terrible place, you've eked out this existence. The kingdom isn't the buildings, it's you. It's your family, it's your leadership. If you leave wherever people are left, somewhere else, that's where the kingdom will be. You need to survive. They look at, they look at their father. No, no, no. No. So you'll die here. We'll figure something out. You see that Bellamin and Olaf are obviously very upset. And it seems like they don't agree, but they're being quiet. The guards are still spraying, spraying fire. What do you want to do? Below, everyone's just keeping everybody at bay. Uh, Arky, you see some kind of conversation happening between Craston and the family. And Fratell is like, we got to get over there. Can, we, can, your, can your tree friend just kind of grab us and bring us over? Yes. How are we close to him? Tree, tree, tree. <laughs> Cole, we're coming. Tree. <laughs> my, my name is Cole. Uh, hello. Tree. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, can I? <laughs> can I reach them? Can you get me up there? Yeah, yeah. You just go like yeah. this. <laughs> <Bring it in. laughs> Switch hands. Yeah. <laughs> just climb across there. Right. Okay, so Arky, you go up, and Fratello's is there. Dad, I'll go, Grandpa. And she, she runs over there and she hugs everybody. Ah, uh, well. No! <laughs> no! 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 I knew it! I knew it! I was gonna go and he's there! No! Ah! Uh -uh. Nope! <laughs> Not gonna do it! What do you want? Why are you everywhere? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> King Mott, but you must uh, go along with this plan, I think. I know, <laughs> I know. Listen to the jester. Oh, the jester will lead us out of the city now. <laughs> Are you going to tell a joke and make everything disappear? <laughs> Don't worry, Flickerton. <coughs> I assure you the songs will not speak of how the jester saved the entire royal family. Just, just come along. I'll assure you, I'll make sure you all get all the credit. <laughs> Come closer. Uh. Jester. Okay. I can come closer. I've learned about who you are. And I know you desire this city. Tell me your heart. Do you truly desire to be king of this city? Uh, no, I do not. So you understand that if the mots, <coughs> if the mots are not within the walls, that we are still king royal blood and you are not this is understood 
All the world knows of the nobility of the Mutts. Don't take his word for it! Don't listen to him! It's garbage! He doesn't mean anything he says! Look, I understand that we've had some issues between us in the past, but I'm willing to turn over a new leaf here. All right. I am going to take the high road and help you all out. And at the end of it, I ask for nothing in return. All right, that is how I will apologize. All right, for... I think that an arrangement can be made here. Guards. Points to Arky. You see the guards, half of them turn around and aim towards the middle. And he gets up. He still has no shirt on. Just a... Arky Fint. In true gnomish fashion. I feel that perhaps your life might belong to me. You killed my granddaughter. You killed my son. And you think that you can come on this roof and talk to me for good or for bad and expect no retribution. So, in true gnomish fashion, in my day, we gambled for it. Are you in? Or are you out? Your life is mine, I take it. Or it's yours. We leave. I'll take my chances. I happen to have the dice right here. Let them fly. The fates are on my side. Very good. It's swords and shields. Yahtzee rules. Whoever has the most pairs or... or Triple a three of a kind or four of a kind, and the highest wins. So you roll, you roll your dice. You can roll five dice. This is one pretend round. A pretend you, round. Or, or, do you, or do you understand? I understand. It's, yeah, do I? Uh, it's just straight do up. like Yahtzee where I take two away and roll two. You can take any amount away. You can re-roll the whole thing. You can re-roll two, two chance. You can do two rounds. Of you that? can do. You can do a re-roll of any amount of dice, all or some, twice. And we're looking for the best Yahtzee roll. So yes. Three rows total. Right. Five sixes is the best. Yeah. The only thing about this, because this is a game in this world, and he says is that, well, as you know, is if you roll ones, if you go for ones, ones will block the opponent's successes. It'll take away a die. Uh, so you can play defensively with the ones. So if you had, say, one, one, five, five, three, and your opponent had. Six, six, six. You'll kill two of his sixes. Yeah. Right. So he's got nothing, basically. Right. right. So you can play defensively or offensively. But we don't know what the other guy has <laughs> until we no. submitted our, we right. make our submission. Oh. Right. Oh, he, man. He, he hands you the dice. They're all made of, like, some kind of bone. Obviously made in this world. <clears throat> Go ahead. Roll. <coughs> this is you rolling for real, right? Yes. Six six three one one. That, oh my god! Wow! You pretty much rolled. Just re -roll, was, almost the best thing that you can roll like, here. Yeah, just I roll would, a three. Yeah. Go for one or the other. Yeah. So now how many more rolls does he get? Two. Two. Two, two more. Two more. He's just trying to roll another six or another one. That's right. Yeah. By the locked up. Another three. And then just roll again. Two. All right. Now I will oh, roll. Boy. Can I borrow two dice? Yeah. Give me bad ones. Give me the bad ones. Bad ones. Give me the bad ones. Give me the ones that only roll twos. <laughs> so you have two sixes. What do I have to do for this? I have to get. I have to get um. Either five you need sixes, ones, yeah. or if you got ones, or if you got ones. You then... Oh, if I get two ones, I knock them out and get a pair of my own, and it's over. Yeah. Right. Any pair. Any pair. Any pair of mine. If I get two ones. Right. Do ones cancel ones? No, but then his ones will cancel out your pair. Don't forget. All oh, right. Yeah. We'll okay, find so out. Yeah. Kind so of how, I yeah. think we'll five see. sixes. So maybe five so, sixes will do it. Yes. 
or you, the same thing and a higher than a two. So we, we two po- sixes, two ones, and a higher I, than a two. Ones are canceled. Right. Ones are probably canceled, right? Kind of. Yeah. Pretty much. Five of a kind will win. Yeah, otherwise it gets, it gets overly complicated right. for no reason. Yeah. Five, Here we go. Ones cancel ones. Sixes. I have a double six. Okay. A five and two twos. So I'm going to roll three over and keep the double six. Uh-oh. Makes sense. Just a reminder, du- Rob has double six and double ones. Here we go. Here I roll. <coughs> for luck. <laughs> for luck. Oh. oh. A trip six. Oh, man. Uh-oh. It's close. Yes. He needs... If I oh if I roll if I roll oh so two sixes or two ones. You need, yeah. Two sixes yeah. or two one. <gasps> Four sixes, but Here's that is not enough. Wait, what's the other and one? And a two, it's a tie. It's, it's a, tie. a tie. Yeah. Oh tie goes. He knocks to out me. your two sixes. Yeah, because yeah. he knocks out two and then you both have one pair, right? You both He's, have two sixes oh. and a two. Wow. That's it. You're left with a pair of sixes and a two. Tie goes to first roll. We settle it. the rules of swords and shields. We settle it with our fists now. Now, no. <laughs> now it's a tie. <laughs> I'll settle it. We will settle it with fists. Because <laughs> you're really old, though. <laughs> oh, man. Does Fratella have anything to say about this? <laughs> hey, don't fight my grandpa. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> No, I'm done fighting Mats. <laughs> 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 He's like Vandal Bomb. Damn. We're doing half of it. Come on. Yeah. He's wearing he's a going? heavy ring. It's like Fuzzy Birds punching us. So here's, here's what we're gonna do right now. Uh, <laughs> Could even... So he punches you in the face. Every six is a hit in, in the face, and everything that's not a six is gonna be. How much damage times how many sixes you got? Okay, you you have your hit points for Arky, right? Yes. Okay. So I I have, I have my hit points the for him. Rushing of a lifetime. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what this is. <laughs> it's like fighting Montgomery Burns right now. Can someone restrain him? Okay. So, guards, okay. So he hit you. Lots of people up there that could. He hit you for eight damage. He, put, he jabbed you in the face. <laughs> now we're gonna roll. If you are you gonna fight him back or are you gonna take it? She's yelling for you not to fight him. Not gonna fight him. Oh, not gonna fight, eh? How about this? <laughs> he punches you again. Okay, so the times two. Nine, 12, 24 damage. <laughs> Who is this guy? Wow, is this something right, effective right this right world that he. he got you. Can't you restrain your father? What's happening? Uh, we need to get out of here. In my day, I was top boxer. We think I am just old. I was a king. Look at this muscle. <laughs> so good it's reversed. I won't hold back. I was a great fight. You don't want to fight anymore. No. I've noticed Then put I... your hand down. No. <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot. No hits. Okay, fine. You look like that one. You want to call it a day? Very well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This kid's a real fool. Okay, one, eight, nine, ten, twelve damage. Oh, my teeth. So All right. Come on. I yield. I get down on my knees. Please, Flickerton, I beg for <laughs> mercy. He punches you again. <clears throat> Trip oh six. Gosh. I roll two ones though, so six damage. Uh, if I step towards them, do the guards do anything? Oh, yeah. Like, pfft. don't get involved. This is foolish. I, I know. Flinkerton. King Mott. I vow I will be your most loyal servant. <laughs> oh. oh, man. 11 damage. By day, I would take out 10 of you. You think you're so tough. You're a fool. You wasted your life. Well, what did you accomplish in your life? Nothing. But there's no patrol. 
More like garbage patrol. <laughs> that one. I know how some of those second garbage. generation ones weren't just, you know. Gar but come on. Garbage. <laughs> Trash. Rubbish. Patrol. Psh. Sixteen damage. Arcade's got to do something here. Okay, I'm trying to think. Where's your suit? I bet it's destroyed because it's made of garbage. Suit? A real gnome needs no suit. And I punch this old man in the <laughs> face as hard as I possibly can. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh -oh. He's okay. testing me. Roll your roll your dice. Yes. Doing well. Roll five dice. Double two hits, so multiply the rest by two. Uh, 10, 20 damage. Oh, no. He's got, probably got like four hit points. He's yeah. like 80 <laughs> years old. Was... There you go. What if you're What if you're a, a hero and you get old? You don't lose your hit points. <laughs> there you go. You got some fight in you. <coughs> oh, no. Looks like I hurt my head. Ah! And he punched you in the face. 8, 10, 12 damage. Back I'm gonna up. rip you limb for limb mm -hmm. and throw you off the side. Let's hook. Oh, Nothing. No. <sighs> Looking a little slow there. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, god. Arky! Right, the... 11 damage. This could be Arky's death here. Beaten by an old gnome king. Okay. That's a six. That'd be helpful. It's not landing. Take your time. Still oh waiting my for it. Gosh. We're dreaming. Still, still, still waiting. waiting. <laughs> still waiting. Oh my goodness. It looks like it's not a six. Uh, it's a one. Uh, so you got four, seven, eight, twelve damage. <laughs> I guess it's a little high. We'll give him a we'll give him 100. 20, 32. I shouldn't let him he knock off. I'm going to tell you, it's 68 hit points left. Uh, why did I let him take like two thirds of my health before I started fighting back? Uh, well, you thought you were doing the right thing. It's uh, a reasonable assumption. It was. Hit. One reasonable hit. Seven. Archie. Nine damage. Okay. Let's just end this. Why don't you call your garbage patrol to save you? I lay him out. Okay, here we go. Oh, here you go. Times two for the rest. So that's 18 damage. 18 damage. He's down to 50 even. Ugh. Arky, stop fighting my grandpa! It's me, he's a possessed, he won't stop! He's gonna beat me to death on this rooftop! Don't fight him though! You don't have to fight him then! You're saying. Uh... He swings and misses. Alright, Flinkerton. Flinkerton! It's not it's... Flinkerton! I know. <coughs> Trip him, Arky, just knock him down. Sit on top of him, he's old. That last swing, he seems really old. He seems like, oh, like he almost like hurt his hip. <sighs> Come, Flinkerton, and I put, <laughs> <laughs> I put like a gentle hand on his shoulder. Let us fight no more. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> 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 yeah. He put you, I'm giving an automatic six for that. I'll turn it five to a six. Nine, uh, 14, 16 damage. No, oh, I'm sorry, it's double that, it's 32. Double that. All right. Well, Arky falls unconscious. <laughs> he knocked me out. He's a boxer. So, <coughs> so easy. He starts grabbing your body and just bringing it over to the side. Oh, man. Enough now. I start walking towards him. The guards stop you. You're going to let him do this? He's gone mad. He's a king. King of what? He's going to let you all die here on this rooftop. Someone stop him. I look to Bellamon and Olaf. Maybe you don't kill him. Maybe we, uh, you know, make fun of him or something. We, we don't want to send him to, like, I don't know, the abyss. He dies. He brings, he's bringing him over to the ledge. He'll be in the ledge in six seconds. Six. Do we, do we have any idea of, could we hear this or know what's happening? You don't. They couldn't hear us. I don't know what, like... I'm going to say, um, if he's not thinking, 
We're gonna roll a um, roll knowledge check to see if he's no survival check to see if he's paying attention. Otherwise, he would probably bring you bring him over to the ledge where you guys are at. So I'm gonna give him five dice for this look for a six. He gets it. Oh, he definitely gets it. So he knows. So he's going to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's going to the opposite side, which is oh, smart. Man. So he's going the opposite way. Where is OG Caddick? It's on the roof. Huh? Describe on the, on the other side of the street. Describe the setup of who's around. The 12 guards, six of them are outwards hitting the zombies. Yeah. And he's walking to the, the side. There are zombies there. He'll have to wait till they clear it. And then he's going to just toss Arky Finn over the side. Who's of the between us? Like me, them. R near you, there are two guards. And they're spaced out. Uh huh. And then Bellamon. Well, actually, you're Olaf. in the middle. You're in the middle, actually, because that's where you were talking with them. So you're surrounded, basically. Is Olaf and Bellamon with me, too? Like they're close to me? They're not close to you. No. That would, wouldn't make sense. It's a big roof. It's a, yeah, it's yeah. a vault. I would say easily they're about 25 feet away. Like if I were to, if I were to run towards him right now and they were to try to flame me, are Bellamon and Olaf at risk? No. So they wouldn't hold back. How close is he to the edge? <laughs> In six seconds, he'll be at the edge. Once that's arcadic. Oh, Jesus. Here it goes. Six. Five. Four. I run towards them. Three. You take off the, the flame guards, fire. Any sixes, I'm just going to give you damage. No damage Ooh. from one. Six damage from the other. <sighs> okay, that's fine. Not bad. You get singed. You move, you move fast enough where they uh, they don't really catch you. You take off and you start running. And Bellamon and, and Olaf freak out. You see Olaf uh, pulls off like a, like a short sword. Pulls it out very like clumsily. And you see uh, Bellamon just pulls out a pistol. <laughs> just goes to aim at you. He's going to fire. We're going to make this real quick. Um, which defense? Uh, static 11. Okay. So he hits you. Three, four, six damage total. That's from the pistol. Okay. Olaf runs at you. I just roll the ball. Right. Okay, it's a hit. Olaf comes at you as you're, you're trying to run for him, obviously. Yeah. You. So he slashes you on the side. Does 15 damage. Oh my goodness. What the heck? Um, you're gonna roll a balance check. You, know, you need a six on a balance check, otherwise you're gonna go fall into the ground. I think I have good. Oh no, I don't. Have good. I have acrobatics. That doesn't help me. Six. Wow. wow. So everybody's hitting you, and you're like you're like a football runner. Everybody's just trying to knock you down, and you're, you're staying up. You you burst through everybody. Um, the other guards won't be able to attack you because then everybody will be in the way. So you're gonna get around free of the other guards being able to attack you. Um, you get up to Clinkerton when he gets close to the ledge. What do you want to do? Just gonna grab them both. And then do what? So you, you're running at them uh -huh. and you grab them and then? I'm gonna try to stop before the edge. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to just hold them. Stop them from tossing them over. I'm certainly gonna try. I think it's not gonna happen. Um, so... Like, like almost like a slide tackle. Like I'm not any... gonna tackle them, so I'm gonna like try you're to like, like drag charging. them. You know that, what I mean? uh, is there any like lip or is it just a flat roof off the side it's basically like i'm trying to grab them and like basically just hike sideways side. you know what i'm saying like i'm not diving into them i'm trying to like lie and drag them off to the like just drag them to the ground in a big lie mess and drag them. I see. yeah yeah a little gator roll action um give me an agility check okay i'm going to require you because you're trying to save two people in a very identifying maneuver at the edge two sixes if you fail if you roll no sixes you're going to go flying over the side by yourself one six, you'll grab them all. You'll all go over the side. Two sixes, nobody goes over the side. And this is acrobatics. No, That's just me. straight agility. Yes. Okay. Do I only you have, have a one. Do you have that thing? I'll allow you to add one for your acrobatics. What's that okay. thing that you guys have that you do re rolls together? Luck. Um, no, no, oh, no, no. expertise. Passion. Or something. No, 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 passion. Expertise. The passion. Mm. Stubborn. No. <laughs> I don't think so. All favorite right. terrain? Oh, I, my favorite terrain is roof. Roof. <laughs> 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 How do you like that? If, if, if it says that, I'll give it to you. <laughs> uh, you don't have like, any kind of agility expertise, do you? No, I don't think so. Uh, What's your acrobatics? My acrobatics is 
uh, two. That's good. Okay, so uh, you can use you can use both your acrobatics checks. I feel okay. like that has to be fair. Hunters is bloodthirsty. Richard Wilde screaming acrobatics. So yeah. I feel like I need to honor your acrobatics. Okay. Oh, he says you have passionate. You could have used have it. passionate. Okay. You could have used too late, it. Too late. Well, that's a six. One six. Okay. Uh oh. Reroll. Six. Oh, so one six is what? He gave you the reroll. Doesn't matter. He just rerolled you. Doesn't one even matter. Six. That reroll was not optional. Roll one die. Is that allowed? Well, no, no. He's going to reroll the whole thing. What about luck? You had luck now? Yes. Now I have luck. Yeah, so can. an extra two. All yeah. right. Good, 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 good. Come on. Rob, if you just got rid of that one six. Oh, man. I hope I didn't screw myself. <laughs> All of us. Oh my God! No oh, sixes. No. Crasson, you go. You go to. You go to reach, and Clinkerton, <laughs> the Clinkerton seizure just kind of moves out of the way. You're also just going too fast. You go flying oh. over the side. I'm wearing the cape though. Oh. Yeah, I know he would be fine. Just... You go. You go head first, but you you hover down, and uh, let's see. Mm. If I roll a six, one of the guards attacks you. They don't. So you just probably go over the side. <laughs> Stupid boy. Take this with you. Throws oh, Arky yep. no. over the side. Is there any chance to catch him? Uh, yeah, because you're not flying down and he's going down faster. Yeah. He, made a little, he was like, said something. He gave you a little heads up. Because he's unconscious, he's right? I'll try to he get said, his body. He, said, he did say, take this. Too. Take that. <laughs> he did try to get him something. <laughs> um Arky getting thrown all over the place tonight. So, oh, I would say, what did he do to deserve this? But we, <laughs> but we you know, know that. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say grapple checks. Grapple. Okay. Give me a grapple check. You'll grab him. You will hit the ground pretty fast, but not where either you will take damage. Just you have no control of where you're going to go. Okay. What do I need? Just a six? Yeah. Got it. There we go. Okay. So. You loop, loop back around, you grab Arky, and you come down to the ground, hit hit the ground, and it smash into a bunch of the zombies. You're now there. And I'm going to say that everyone else can roll perception check. Well, the people on the roof had to have seen all this. Oh, boys, absolutely. They right? Did. So, like... Yeah, but they yeah. don't care. Not doing anything about it. No, the, all, the rest of yeah, our but party. Didn't they go off like no? It's the other side. side. It's the other side. It's the opposite. It's direct opposite on. side. So they can't see the roof from. Oh, I guess they would see him running. You're saying right? Like, William's yeah, up there, right? William. That's would have true. Seen. Yeah, but I'm across the street, right? Well, on the roll other... perception check. Uh, two so sixes. You might have heard anything, but you would have seen. Okay. Okay. You would have seen this go off, possibly. One six, you hear something. Two sixes, you see something that leads to. Did somebody fall? One six. One six. OG Caddick. Uh, what am I rolling? You can roll. Perception. Mm, three and a two. No. Tells up top. Uh, Thalen. Thalen will save me. No. <laughs> so, yeah, no one really knows. I got one six. So I got one six. That, so, yeah. Okay, so you hear something. You believe that somebody may have jumped off, but you don't see it. You're not sure. See, the, somebody jumped or somebody fell. I also okay. have Fall Guard, if that helps us at all. Caddick, it looks like somebody went over. If Fall Guard takes away your damage, it makes a reroll on, on, on damage, but okay. I didn't give you any. Okay, good. Anything with Guard is a reroll. Gotcha. And how, did, how far away? How did, how did Marky and Fratello just ran? We were with uh, them. Did, right? uh, well, Cole, them Cole oh, brought right. them. Yeah. Moved them over. Fratella, Fratella uh, runs to the edge, so, and she goes, No! Everyone hears her. No! Let's get over there. I think something's gone wrong. Let's go. Cole, get us over there. All right. All right. Let's go. Okay, I you ferry people over. Travel with Cole. Well, I'm not moving. I'm just getting them from oh, the roof oh, to okay. the other roof. Yeah, yeah. yeah you guys are protecting Sorry, that Cole. was other cats. Yes. <laughs> okay, so OG Cat goes across. William goes across. And Dalen goes with you. What is going on here? The guard's right there on you. Don't move a muscle. It looks like your friend Arky took a tumble. Well, that is unfortunate business. But we've come for you. And your weapons specifically. We're breaking through the zombie horde. Come with us. We need them here to protect our king. So no. King Mart. Give the order, sir. For what? To flee this rooftop. 
I suppose we can now. Your friend Aki has died. I understand. We knew that there would be risks. Let's go. You guarantee our protection, Lord Commander. I do. We are no longer foes. You, of course, will need to bend the knee to me. I acknowledge you as the leader of the Sunken Kingdom and vow that as long as you are traveling with me, I will do everything in my power to protect you. That will do. He walks, he walks over. Guards you will now travel with them. Okay. Who's up on the roof? <clears throat> All right. Cole, can you get us down? I can't hear anybody from up here. Oh, well, all right, I go over to the edge where he is. Cole. Yeah. Go. Yes. I think we're all going to come down. All right. Well, right? They can just, yes. they just walk. There's a <laughs> door up there. I'm sure they can walk we down. down the stairs. Oh, yes. All right. So can we go? Can we, they yeah. they, they we do go, go that, that way, way first. <laughs> then they say, oh. And they go that, that way. All right. All right. Where's, uh, Let's go. What's wrong? What was the problem? Why did Fratella scream? It appears that Hockey Fint has died. Where's Fell off the side of the building? Where's Craston? He was up there as well. I do not know. Well, I've convinced Bellamar to come off the building. You, you the hear one of, the, one of the guards like, off the side. Off what side? The opposite side. Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> All right. Do you want to go see if we can find if he's alive? Craston would survive a fall. Craston fell? That's what they said. Let's go. Yes. On the other side. <laughs> okay, you have. Uh, I'm, I'm going to give you about um, in game seven rounds Oy. before anyone is is coming to your aid. You land on the ground rough. I didn't give you any damage. You have full guard too, which kind of suits that as well. Arky is unconscious. The zombies have fallen to the sides, next round they will get up and attack, or the ones behind them will overwhelm them, and they will attack. You're in a small back street, and you're actually near, not that this is a good place to run, but just to give you where you're at. Remember where you went down last time when you yes. found the, uh, uh, for, for the for the viewer's sake, when you found the, um, the, the blacksmith, and he told you to go around back, and there's like an entrance. So there is actually an entrance nearby where the mines are, to go into the mines, that's where you are again. Okay. There are buildings nearby. There are zombies in every direction. Um, the building I just fell from, am I like close enough that I could get my back against it? No, you're in the middle of the street right now. Middle of the street. Yeah. And he's unconscious on the floor. Mm-hmm. I don't have anything here. I guess I'll try... I like rip the cape off really quick and like toss it over him, in the hopes that maybe zombies won't immediately jump on him. Like he'll be hidden under there. And then I just start doing the old whip tornado. That's okay. How you do, man. Okay. So you try. You try. You try to put the whip around you to try to make an area that is going to be like safe. Just, yeah. Just from everything else. Going crazy with it. Okay. Um. So, give me a. You just roll like a knowledge check. A knowledge check. Yeah, I'm gonna give you straight knowledge. Yeah. Knowledge murder. I'm, I'm gonna give you a chance to, to actually specifically use the whip in a way to keep repelling them back. Okay. Zombie repel. Six. Yeah. Okay. Round one. Round one, you get up. Round two, you repel them. You keep them back enough where like they're having trouble getting into it. If you can roll a six on your knowledge checks every round, okay. in this it, that won't work in the situation <laughs> because they're mindless. Yeah. You have a chance. So you're on going round three right now. Go ahead. And I also do... imagine it's real loud, so like they'll know where I'm at, you know? <laughs> cracking yeah, crack oh, up yeah. a storm. Yeah, yeah, I think they Whistles. will. They'll definitely get to see you. Ooh, a five. Yeah. Okay. Six. Yes. Okay, round three secure. Round four. I'm safe under the cloak. They're at you at round seven. No. Together it's a six. Uh, three round. Okay. <laughs> Together it's a six. <laughs> 
That works, right? Oh! oh. Okay, so they, they uh, get past your whip. They come in. Any sixes are going to hurt you. Okay. They don't. They come in. You're just like this, backing up. And Ar is Arky just on the ground? I'm trying to, yeah, protect over his body okay, kind so of in a way. You're literally just punching him and pushing him away. You know, the moment before they start biting you? You're at that moment right now. Okay. Have another round of fail. I'm going to count fives and sixes, and then it's going to get worse and worse. Okay. Come on. This is, this is round. This is round. Uh, that was round four. He failed. So right. This, round this is round, round five. Wait. Do you um, don't forget if there's any rerolls, add your luck. Oh, that's true. Okay. Do you have passionate also. You missed it though, and does, since yeah. you missed it, you missed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm no time to be passionate. Although I'm still passionate about whipping. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. <laughs> He's now I'm passionately whipping. That was, okay. He wasn't before. Passionate now. is a luck safety. That's what it yeah, is. Yeah. Luck safety. So I'm passionately whipping. Nice time. Okay. Good. Okay. Oh, we I got close, and I strenuously objected. That yes. Case. Passionately whipping. Double six! Yeah. Yes. Oh. Okay, so what I'm going to give you for that is you manage to push a bunch of guys down, like desperately, and then the whip right back out. And you open open the space, and you're back to a better position. Okay. And that was your round five. Okay. So now we're going to round six. You now see in a distance, you see the, a hammer coming through, like, and you see on the, we'll say the other side of the building, you, you see uh, a sword coming in, and there, people are trying to battle away to you. Hodge Kedek! Six, yes, let's yes. go! Oh, baby! That's Woo! it. In round seven, they get to you and they eat the. We saved them. God. Oh, hang on, Crusty. Don't forget little Arky. <laughs> He's here, at my feet. Arky? Yes. He's under the cape. I reveal him. <laughs> I don't know how he was there. We didn't know. I just assumed. He's like bleeding out. And the Arky is still standing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is he bleeding out? No. No, it's all subdual damage. No, it's subdual damage, and he didn't fall because he. Glide him to the bottom, so right, he was, I was just unconscious. Into oh. unconscious. I thought maybe he was bleeding. He just got a facial. Maybe like, a little bit, but it's not bleeding out. Up. Is there any He's a little more ugly render? than he was. Yeah, you could definitely render aid. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll render aid. Okay, do you have Passion. first aid? I have, I have render, render, render aid. aid. Just okay, just didn't, didn't <laughs> oh, do that. Oh, I don't want to no. All right, aid. I pick I pick up Arky in one hand and him in the other. Okay. <laughs> so here, like, no! God. Arky! Don't die on me now! You're a hero of Endoria. No, he's just knocked out. I'm not doing roll. anything. <laughs> yeah, Rob's so excited about his rolls. Too bad you didn't do anything. I'll re-roll. Okay. With my luck. You should let Kadek do Kadek's first aid. With my insight. It's like if a boxer got knocked out and someone ran Kattik's in the ring. Like, no, please. I'm he's healing. Apollo. He's Apollo. He's dead. <laughs> Six. Oh, let's right. go. Okay, <laughs> because it's subdual damage, he's gonna come up to one. And he'll gain, you'll gain back that health pr uh, pretty quickly over time. Nice. Um, but for now, you're at one. You're 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 woozy, and you're being raised up in the air in a large ah, tree. Uh... Um, the, you're gonna take some damage because only um, Caddick on the bottom. I'll keep that. Put me down, Cole. You don't take any damage. All right, good. Now yeah, put him back down. Well, I put him back in the the bubble. <laughs> Hold it, hold it again. Yeah. Zone. Okay, you put you down the ground. Yeah, Arky, I just get on my back. Do you, do you grab him? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are you with them in the, in the sphere? Well, I thought we were coming out down the, the in the, the building. I was with them on the. Yes. Yeah. Then you could you could be in here. So, all wanted. right. Yeah. Then we would join up. I would assume. Okay. Yeah. So you guys turn around and uh, the flamethrower guards are turn around and make like a like a fire out into the, uh, the way they the, you know the forward motion down the alleyway. So they start moving forward ahead of you, and you guys, you have your, your swinging knights to the front gates. And yes. you guys make your way to the street. That's my I next question. Yell up to the people on the roofs to just make your way back across. We'll slip. We'll catch them at the far end. Okay. The people on the yeah on that side, you know. Okay, so they they turn they Citizens. they turn around and start backwards roof hopping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys get back to the Winchester, and this takes a little bit of time, and this is the moment where you guys would. Um, meet up with the rest of the people so you let them come down? Yeah. There's too many of them to be protected in your field. Are we with the moths right now? Yeah. Yeah, the moths are there. I haven't told them, but hopefully they didn't notice. Yeah. So, like, I see them? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I imagine that you would just kind of go with the flow right now, but I was We're using their flamethrowers. So, as, the as, as they're going, you see the front and you realize all the flamethrowers are carving away. I guess between the flamethrowers, they could they could get all the people in there. So I was going to ask about that, like if, even if we used all their guards and flamethrowers, like if we could. Yeah, let me see if you two ones he revolts against it. One more, it is not. I want to okay. go up to Clinkerton. Which we get out? Which we 
No. Okay, right you, I see you, him. you make your way up, and perception roll for the guards. Any sixes see you? None. They're, they're too busy. Make eye contact with him. I'm okay. spit at his feet and then hold out my hand to like shake it. Both at the same time. He turns around, so he turns around to you and you, you walk up to him and he, and he did that? Yeah. Out of my way, boy. He just like pushes you. Don't make it difficult. Do <laughs> you just say that and stay there? Yeah. Are you in his way or not in his way? Like I'm I'm as he walks, as he keeps going, I'm just like Are you walking with him? Like he goes past me. I'll stay with the rest of the crowd. But what kind of vibe are you throwing off right now? I'm like, I was gonna be putting it behind us, but if you're gonna keep being a little stinker, he, he, it's gonna be beef down the road. And are you walking with him? Or are you trying to stop him? No, I'm not trying to stop him. That was like so you're, you're you're like walking next to him. Like, no, he could go. He could go past me. Okay, I'm gonna moment. let him go okay. past me. Okay, so you do that. He pushes you, and he goes, "Boy, if you're gonna be that sensitive, you're not gonna make it through." All right, we'll see how it goes. Um, everybody starts making their way, mm-hmm. and you make your way to the perimeter that the knight set up, and you see Yo-Yo Fernie's there, and Yo-Yo Fernie is, is literally punching zombies in the face, and like ten zombies go. <laughs> the knights are like every time you hit somebody, they take cheer, <laughs> yeah. and they go up and they, they fight someone else. Uh, they're holding the perimeter down really well, but not having problems. Uh, you guys get into the perimeter. <clears throat> the the flamethrower guards go out into the sides of the frame with the knights, and it becomes really the knights are like, oh, man. <laughs> right. So much easier. Where have you been all this time? <laughs> the knights get a little, gets a little reprieve. Some will come back, and the ones that are just tired just rest. Yeah. You guys are there. The doors are wide open, and you can all role play. Everyone is there, including Fratella, Arky, the 40 uh, people, Thalen, any other NPCs I forgot. Argon. Role play. Kadic, we should go. Yes, accomplish what we most we can, I think. I agree, uh, Your Highness. We are. We've gotten you out. We are going to leave. If there's anybody you want to, any of your citizens you want to try and rescue before that happens, now is the time. As if he cares. You see him looking past you. He goes, "I think it's us that needs the rescuing." I look where he's looking. He's looking outside the gates. Yeah. And outside the gates, you see an army of vampire and mortal. And that is where we stop. <laughs> Son of a gun. Empire is not like all the foes. They attack not just their swords and strike you down. They can change a man. 